Let me show you something. Here, this is my new remote mind control device. Yes, I know it, it looks a little bit like a ring, but actually it isn't. You just press it for a few seconds here on your phone before you make a cold call and that's basically it. Let's see how it works in action. I'll just call a random number. Hello? Hello? Hello, yes. This is Mr. Smith. Man, what took you so long? You are a real estate agent, aren't you? Um, yeah, that's right. Also, I'm an investor. Well, a few seconds ago, I felt a sudden urge to put my house on the market and I wanted to talk to a pro and then you called. The thing is, I, I rent a townhouse and I'm not even aware of owning a house. But somehow I think I own one and I want you to help me sell it. Well, yeah, I can help you, but how about you first get the housing situation resolved and become an owner and I will call you back in a few weeks from now? How does... how about that? Yeah. Okay, sounds good. Well, that went better than I expected. However, the reality of cold calling is, well, many, many more rejections. When you call, let's say 100 FISBOs, you can expect to get rejected 98 times and get two appointments. That's a 2% cold call to appointment conversion rate. That's not bad in itself, if it weren't for the many rejections you have to go through. I mean, websites on average get this type of conversion rate. But I can understand if you want to avoid this, these kind of rejections. But how then can you get real estate leads without cold calling? Let's look at the question behind the question. So the actual question is how you can get real estate leads with no rejections. Well, without rejections, it would be mind control. That's not publicly available just yet. Well, you can buy, of course, my special ring. Link in the description below. Just kidding. So it's how to get real estate leads with the least amount of rejections. And you get that when instead of contacting prospects, prospects contact you. So you attract prospects. And the official name for this is inbound marketing. Some also call it attraction marketing. How do you do this? You create valuable content and experiences tailored to your target audience. What belongs to inbound or attraction marketing? It's for example, in the digital space, content marketing on your website, publishing articles, videos, white papers, etc. Content marketing on social media, posting on Facebook, YouTube, TikTok, Instagram, etc. Answering questions on social media or forums, Quora, Reddit, etc. And in in the offline world, it's publishing in local and national newspapers, organizing open house events, organizing educational events. But it's not only inbound real estate lead generation that can help you avoid cold calling and rejections. There's also outbound lead generation or marketing that can attract seller and buyer prospects. That's when a business starts the conversation and sends out its message to seller or buyer prospects. Some call this also interruption marketing. Why? Well, it depends on the way of the communication. Is it synchronous or asynchronous? Synchronous is just a fancy name for when you talk live to someone. When the other person can ignore your message easily without creating an awkward moment and respond when they want to, it's asynchronous. And with cold calling, the chances are pretty high that your marketing message will catch a prospect, a seller or buyer prospect at the wrong time. A classic example is the telemarketer who calls you while you have dinner with your family. Wow, does this family look psycho? Hope that wasn't your Thanksgiving dinner. And yes, cold calling also belongs to outbound lead generation, but it's not the only one. So there's cold calling, that's what we want to avoid, right? But also door knocking, where you can get rejected directly. In the digital space, you also have text message prospecting, push notification ads, PPC ads on social media like Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, Waze ads, LinkedIn ads, etc. PPC ads on search engines like Google, Bing, Yahoo, etc. and native ads. Offline outbound lead generation is direct mailing, radio ads, local TV commercials and print ads. Now what's the difference between all the inbound and outbound lead generation methods and cold calling? 
Well, it's what I call a rejection protection shield. With all the other methods, you at least know that when you get a response that the prospect is at least somewhat warm. So when you use these other methods, other than cold calling, you create a buffer between you and an unqualified ice call seller or buyer prospect. As the cold caller, you basically act as a human website. You generate traffic and in most cases, this traffic doesn't return or convert. For websites, that's not an issue. They don't have emotions. You only realize how many visitors don't convert into leads when you check the website analytics. But if websites were humans, they would also have a love-hate relationship with attracting cold traffic and complaining that it's not working. Now, do all the other methods protect you from rejection in general? I wouldn't say so. You still will have to call the warm leads you generate. Well, that's how it works in real estate. You can't sell properties like an e-commerce store can do with dresses and pants. This means you can even get rejected by warm leads. And how do you reduce the number of rejections that you can even get from warm leads? Well, it's called message market fit. The message market fit makes sure your message resonates with with the specific needs, preferences and pain points of your prospects. That's for instance the ad copy you use in Instagram Reels or in your blog articles. And when you get this right, your message matches exactly with what your seller or buyer prospects are actively seeking. And what does this do? It will make your real estate lead generation more effective and relevant. Why? Because it will attract the right warm leads. For example, you would get a pretty bad message market fit if you just threw a phone book against the wall, picked a random number on the open page and called it. The odds of not getting rejected come close to winning the lottery. It will be pretty unlikely that your message will find a seller prospect that wants your help in selling their house. And in the case of a phone call, the message is, well, what you talk actually on the phone. This is your message. So how do you get real estate leads without cold calling so you have a reduced rejection rate? It's getting your message market fit right. And that's easier said than done. Well, that's it for today. You can get my free course revealing the overlooked foundation factor for your real estate lead gen success in the description below. And you may also want to check out this next video about how to leverage AI for real estate lead generation. Thanks again for watching and see you next time.